<laughs> That's why the coffee is like crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, hello and welcome to the Lardest Podcast. And today we have our studio as our co-host. Hey-o. And one of the funniest, most sci-fi yellow looking people that you will ever meet, Miss Mel. Hey, howdy, Good and morning. greetings to you, human beings. Yeah. <laughs> and I am your host, Mr. David Rano. You are listening to the LA Artist Podcast, where we chat with local artists about their works, styles, what influenced them to start their artist's journey, and more. Subscribe so you don't miss the latest episode. And to see bonus content, check out our website on the description below. This podcast is produced by Lorano Gallery, an LA-based gallery and studio space dedicated to showcase work from upcoming artists, as well as provide space for art shows, workshops, photo and film production. Feel free to check out the gallery at lorranogallery.com. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for being part of the podcast. Uh, it's It's been a minute. Well, we, we saw each other, what, a couple of weeks ago? We did. I last think year? so. Last, last year. Yeah. Millions of years ago. <laughs> At the uh, first Friday art shows in Long Beach, uh, which is uh, an oh, amazing show. Did you like the show? I freaking loved it. I was a lunatic <laughs> in the show. I was running around, even though I was supposed to stand still and nah. present my art, you <laughs> know, nah. and go like, hey, I did this. No, I was just I was just yeah. so happy to see every artist there and everybody in the show. Great show. Yeah, yeah. So Mako does a great job of curating it and uh, putting it all together. And uh, I keep telling him, like, yeah, it just takes you like 20 minutes, right? Yeah, just yeah. host the whole thing. 20 minutes, easy. But, uh, but yeah, no, thank you for being a part of the podcast. We've known each other for a couple years now. And then uh, you were doing traveling and all that fun stuff, doing life stuff. But now you're... Back in LA, I sure area, am. Yeah, doing more art and more fanciness. Yes. And uh, to our video listeners, uh, we do have some of her pieces up. To our audio listeners, be sure to check the description out. We'll have links to all her work, and uh, she does have a sci-fi esque theme, very whimsical, right? Or, or, or how would you describe your art? Well, it's very, very colorful and it's really inspired by a lot of the retro sci-fi art that is very inspirational for me, if I can be honest. And also a lot of cartoons, I would say, like uh, like comic strips like Pogo and Bones. Um, if you have not checked, checked those comics, out, I highly suggest you do. Um, but yeah. So very comic book. Yeah, because uh, I do feel you do have a very comic book style or, or illustration style, I guess. It would yeah. be the, the technical term, you know, me trying to be on our Trying to be technical. Or, or to be, um, so what, what got you? You said uh, Pogo and Bones. The, the one was a comic strip. The other one was a comic book. Right? Yes. Yes. And uh, like uh, you, you, you told me who they were. One was Jeff. Jeff Smith and the Jeff other one's Walt Kelly. Walt Kelly. Yeah. Walt, yeah. I remember. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Were you waiting for it? Were you waiting for me say to anything. say R. I Kelly? I didn't say anything. <laughs> inside joke, inside joke. <laughs> Walt Kelly, the other guy. No, um, Kelly, no, yeah, he's yeah. that guy. <laughs> but so, like, with that, like, uh, so what in what specifically from then, from then from them the did do you grasp onto oh gosh okay so the line style in um walt kelly's work is absolutely beautiful and the the character designs are just so cute um and very very round and some parts are very sharp when necessary and from the creator that um that made bones i really appreciate his storytelling the way he paces his story is so inspirational that I, it inspires me to create my own stories. And from those stories that I write down, I put it on just paper and just start drawing things. You know, I start imagining how these characters would look or what colors would they be. And 
you know, I, I just create this universe that they would live in. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. And, and so when you're creating the stories, is it just ideas that pop into your head or like, do you wake up in the middle of the night, like screaming, you have to write it down and then. Oh my God. And then, like and, it has to be done. It yeah. has to be done. Yeah. Oh my God. It's going to go away. Okay. Uh, a little bit of both. I would say <laughs> a little bit of both. Uh, it used to be only like, it would just hit me in the spot and I would just have to blast through it. But nowadays I'm, I'm, I'm about to go to sleep. Right. It's been a long day. I'm like, yes, going to go to bed. Everything's going to be great. But then it just hits me, the idea. And I'm like, damn it, I have to get up, write it down, or do a little sketch about it, or now it's going to go away. And then I'm going to try to remember in the morning. And then it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. It's like trying to remember a dream. Yeah. But it's, you it's know. It's like super easy. Yeah. It, it really you is. Shush it, you. you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you, you only have five seconds after you wake up to like, like <laughs> write it down. Otherwise, yeah. it's yeah, or else completely it's, gone. It's gone. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's how it goes, the idea. When it, when it just hits you, you do it on the spot. You know, I can do. Um, and so with that in mind, so you, you get the story, uh, you write it down as fast as you can, and then you put it onto canvas or drawing. What, what, what is your medium of choice? OK, so when the, hit, the idea hits me, I usually sketch it out or like write it out or write out the, the idea of the painting. Right. I, I just do like a little little graph. It's like this is going to be the color. This is the idea. And we're going to do that. And then the next morning I look at this, I'm like, okay, all right. It's like past me giving me instructions like, on how right, to make. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like I wake up as a brand new person and past me is like, okay, this is what you're going to do. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so then I just either, my favorite thing so far has been using wooden panels and like, I think it's a foam board, you know, those foam boards that are like paper in the mm -hmm. front and stuff. I don't know the specific name. But I will eventually. Foam boards. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's well, just it, right? Probably. Yeah, if there's foam in the middle, yeah, it would be a foam board. Because okay. uh, the other one would be an illustration board, which is more like a... a just paper. Which is, yeah, it's like, it's like really a, thick cardstock. Okay, it might be that. Then. Yeah. Uh, just, so those two have Illustration been, paper, illustration pad. Yeah. Um, something like that. Something hard. Something um, hard. <laughs> <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> But um, those two have been my favorite to use. So I always like sketch everything out. I don't sketch it with a pencil like uh, graphite or anything. I use like one of those colored pencils because it's so much easier to erase. Or um, if you just want a watercolor or paint on top of it, it's fine. Um, but yeah, well, that's the beginning of the process. And it's really easy. And it's like if you want to get back to it and erase something, it's, it's fun to have like two different kind of color pencils that erase um, where you can go like, okay, this is not erasing. I'll just go over it with this blue color and then correct it. Yeah. And it, it just makes the whole process easier and a little bit fun because you're playing around with color um, and you know that it's not a, um, a just a graphite, graphite pencil where you have to like erase it and then smudge it and then it just gets worse and then you're freaked out, you know? Yeah. That's what I was yeah. going to say. Like, with a color pencil, you smudge less yeah. than with a pencil. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now you know. <laughs> the, the more I'm still you gonna, know. I'm still going to keep sketching with <laughs> pencil. Wow, I'm going to just break in <laughs> your window. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. Drop it! <laughs> like, uh, yeah, and I'll be sketching with uh, charcoal pencil. <laughs> charcoal? <laughs> like a big, even, chunky one? <laughs> yeah, with, with either like a, a charcoal <laughs> pencil like that's <laughs> like 6B Will, or 9B. Willow oh. vine? Or, yeah, that, that's what I was going to say, or with a vine. Okay. To, to each their own. Yeah, because I don't put my hand on the pad like a lunatic. I'm um, like all over like here. Like a crazy person? No, I, I put my hand on the pad. It's like, Ugh. yeah, high pressure. Make sure I smudge. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, like I like my sketch to be super smudgy. Yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's part bad. of the art process. Yeah, yeah it, it really is. Yeah. 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 Anything's just, part of the art process. And then, Anything uh, goes. And then when you erase, it's just little highlights. It is. Little, little highlights. Little, little, little smudgy little, highlights. Little highlights. Just the littlest. <laughs> yeah. And so did you go to school uh, to learn how to My create? God. My God. I wish. Sometimes I wish, but sometimes I, I'm happy I didn't to go to school to learn about art. I mean, it would have been great, 
in some areas, like learning art history, other artists and some of their techniques. But sometimes I feel like maybe that path wasn't chosen for me for a specific reason, because now I don't have certain restraints and I can just really go for it fully without any limits, you know, yeah. I, as art should be. But some people tend to put limits to certain things like you can't do this this way because it has to be a certain way, you know, when art itself is just exploring different ways that yeah. you can do things you know everybody has their own methods but no i did not go to school to answer the question the point <laughs> yeah. being the point yeah but like our teacher like we we also didn't go to art school well we, uh, we, we didn't go to college yeah for we, art. i mean like we, in we high just, school we had we just class. we just had art classes in high school but our teacher told us that you learn the rules so that you, when you're doing your art you, you can, can break bring them. You can bend the rules, yeah, yeah, or or break them if you. It's if it's you true. I I honestly, it's a hundred percent true. Yeah. I mean, I do tend to you, learn. You learn foundation, yeah, and then you break it. You break it. You and break do it. your own thing. It's like, haha. Well, yeah, I didn't have to learn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I learned it for no reason. There, there are some people who are like naturally talented, and not to say that they shouldn't learn something, but it it's like, well, some people have an eye for something that mm -hmm. if they learn fundamentals they're like oh okay cool now i can do it even faster but yeah. that doesn't mean that they don't already have it yeah you know it's like you with your art like you didn't go to school for it but you're naturally able to do what your mind says yeah i think some people know the fundamentals without even knowing it yeah mm -hmm. and sometimes they just break some of the barriers which makes their art so much interesting because they just didn't know it but then they're breaking some of the rules bending some of the rules you know yeah and yeah. It, that like i said that comes back to exploring you know but it is nice to know some of the rules yeah. and knowing some of the things where you're like okay this artist did this uh, just go to youtube academy youtube academy yeah. oh you know youtube university because <laughs> <You> <laughs> it's, it's a universe of <laughs> of knowledge it is well, how great is that? Uh, YouTube, please sponsor. Um, <laughs> please, YouTube. Please, YouTube. Please. please, YouTube. please. Uh, but, but yeah, no, because it, it, it is fun to, like, I love learning uh, some of the art history when, like, I was taking my classes, my art classes in high school because it was just fascinating to me. Do I use it in my art? Like, no. <laughs> but I just love learning it. Dude, it, it's so interesting learning about all the art history and all the art that's ever been made throughout the years, like sculpturals, paintings, all like even just um, ceramics too. It's crazy. Yeah, it's gone a long way, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long and, way. and it's and, funny because like when uh, sorry, but uh, in in art class we were told to you know m copy some paintings from old masters. Mm -hmm. So I, I would paint some Claude Monet. Some of their, some of his landscapes because his landscapes are really cool, and I would uh I would do the ballerina paintings from uh, Edgar Degas, and because I mean his his style is so cool, and like what do I do now? Circles and squares. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Big fan, big fan of this. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I do. So Circles so like I know the fundamentals, but what do I put in practice? Not the fundamentals. Not the fundamentals. I mean. Basic fundamentals. Basic, Basic yeah. Squares, yeah. Circles, circles and squares. Yeah. And lines. Zero triangles. Lines. Zero triangles. Zero triangles. No triangles. No triangles. It's okay. No triangles. We all draw the line somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the line. The world is <laughs> not draw ready. The, line. the world is not ready for triangles. Yet. No. Soon. Yeah. Soon. Dangerous. Soon. Too pointy. Yes. <laughs> too, too evil. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> triangles are evil. Triangles are evil. Illuminati. Illuminati <laughs> <laughs> confirmed. Confirmed. Confirm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, and I was gonna go like, like with art, you know, throughout the entire history, like which also includes uh, pottery or um, or cave paintings or 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 just written art, like poetry and all. The common thread is storytelling. Oh my God! Yes, you know? mm -hmm. is it like it doesn't matter what it looks like, but if it tells a story, that's what matters. You I know, think that's I, what transcends so. the painting. That's what transcends, you know, like uh, all the uh, vases in uh, in China that had all the different uh, lines or the the carved artwork 
on the basis. You also saw yeah, that in Rome and in in Greece, where it's like they would put in a vase an entire story. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they wanted to tell a story. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it's mm-hmm. just a vase. But uh, but again, with art, like you don't have to know color theory if you can tell a story with whatever it is that you do. Yeah. Should we start painting vases? Vases. Should we? Mm. Mm. Some some vases. I think so. Some vases or vases. What vases, if, vases. What, what vases, if we just make an art vases, show? Vases. The vases and vases art show. <laughs> so vases. <laughs> yes. And like yeah. the people who so, says the vases. <laughs> yes. Have uh, you, to talk like do, so vases. So do, do you know what the difference between a vase and a vase is? I should, but please do tell me. <laughs> it's, it's about a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like if you go to Home Depot and get one for like twenty bucks, that's a vase. Oh my God. <laughs> if you go to Lowe's and you get it for a hundred and twenty bucks, it's a vase. It's a vase, and you yes. cry just a little bit. Yes. You water your plants with vase water. Yeah. yeah. With vase water. No, your tears. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And so uh, back to some of your art and stuff like that and techniques and whatnot. Uh, I saw you were also doing some digital art. Work, oh, right? yeah. Yes. And how, how, how is that different than traditional? Oh, God, drawing? it is so different. Um, first off, traditional painting, it's so fun to get your hands just messy and dirty and just getting in there and just changing whatever you want with it, but feeling it with your hands. It's so different. Not to say that you don't feel it with, when you're drawing digitally, but when you, when you paint, it's like you feel the paint. You feel um, how much pressure you can put on the paintbrush or like what kind of texture you would like to add on a painting while adding the pressure. You know, there's so much that goes into it. There's this digital painting where um, it's like, it's so sleek. You know, it's so sleek. It's I don't think it's ever going to compare to the doing traditional, but um, I feel like I am going on a tangent. (laughs) So so do you prefer digital over traditional or is there certain instances where you rather do one over the other? Okay, I would say I 80 percent love doing traditional and then the other percentage. I'm like, okay, I'll do digital. Just for like for the funsies of it, because there is so many things you can do digitally, you know, where you can create these cool textures. You can add so many crazy layers. You can plan out a design for like a T-shirt, a cup, or a, a sticker and all that jazz. You can undo. Oh, my God. You can definitely <laughs> undo. OK, there was a moment where I was doing digital drawings so much. And then I went back to doing traditional. I was like, all right, all right I got to go back to the the real thing the real deal and i was trying to undo and i'm like and it took me i kid you not a one minute i'm like what's what's going on and it, it was just i was doing traditional <laughs> it's not digital trying to pinch to yeah zoom. and pinching to zoom i'm like oh my god my brain it's broken oh god what's going on <laughs> oh god it's crazy going uh, switching back and forth or yeah. if like you're staying like one month or two months in the digital world doing that then you go back to traditional. It's like such a, su- such, <laughs> such a, a pain, such a pain, such but a such p- a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause like, uh, uh, have you ever used a, an iPad to do digital? I've used an iPad and uh, Wacom's. Yeah. You- well, like, cause you can do shortcuts uh, and, and things like that. Like I, uh, I use procreate on my iPad and even just having the Apple pencil and just double tapping on the pen to switch from uh, ink mm-hmm. to eraser and like having that ease to be able to just like, Oh, I'm going to erase just double tap on the thing. Like I tried that on a traditional, like, well, why isn't my pencil <laughs> erasing? Like, Oh, oh I have God. to actually get an eraser. Oh my God. I have to like flip my pencil over to use the eraser. Yeah. You got, you got to <laughs> add pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's so crazy. So pampered. So pampered for the digitals. <laughs> but yeah. And uh, so we're kind of uh, going into a little bit more of a digital talk since Andy is not a Let's digital get person. Digital. Digital. I'm just uh, like, don't get copyright strict. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so like, close. If I had, oh, no. If I, if no. I had thought bubbles, it'll be just like, just sheep. <laughs> sheep. <laughs> Trying just to go sheep. to sleep. Just um, sheep. 
<laughs> well, what kind of Wacom tablet do you have? It's a Cintiq, the big boy one, Ooh. the one that cost me so much goddamn money. <laughs> Is it the twenty one or twenty three inch? Now are you glad or you didn't twenty seven? I am glad you didn't. You didn't. You didn't go to art school. I am so <laughs> that way you could have enough money to pay for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those things are expensive. The, the freaking art, man. The freaking art. Yeah. I mean, they're only upwards of one k. They're almost well, three thousand. Yeah. I mean, I did say upwards. Three. <laughs> I did say upwards. Three, three thousand dollars. <laughs> it's over nine thousand. Oh God, no! <laughs> and, and, and do, and do, you, do you just use it as a as a desk to put your actual paper in? Did you draw? Yeah. Can you just, imagine? Just so you can have so, it just use it as a light box. Yeah. No, it's yeah. like ah, oh, yeah. Stay still. <laughs> while I do my my work on top of you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. No. Th those are cool. Uh, I had. Well, I, I I still have it somewhere. Uh, the Cintiq, the it was like a nineteen inch, but this was a ten year ten years ago. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure it still does. Oh, um, but it uses a VGA connection, so it, it wasn't even HDMI. Yeah. So, and uh, I think my dad got it off a of Craigslist for like a hundred bucks. Wow, what a difference. Yeah, and, and like ba back in the day, that one, like, because I was looking at it, uh, like how much it would cost, like B&H or Amazon or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was going for, I think, 1200 because it was the smaller version. But uh, the guy, I guess, he upgraded through his work or whatever to get the bigger one. So he was selling his smaller ones, it was like a hundred bucks. I'm like, wow. get it. <laughs> like, I'll get, like, I'll let, what a steal. <laughs> but, yeah. But uh, but yeah, no, it, it is the, those antiques. They're really great, even if it's just the the Wacom, just the tablets. Mm -hmm. Uh, the sensitivity that they have, like an iPad, can't compare to that. Like I agree with you. Like you can do a lot on iPad. Well, I disagree. But Wait. the sensitivity though <laughs> throws the whole table. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like you can do so much with a Cintiq, even just on because an Apple Pencil can be accurate. Uh, to even on how you put your pencil, mm -hmm. like what angle it is. But with a Cintiq, you can micromanage. Like if you're always at an angle, you can like, okay, correct it. So it could be perfectly straight or use just like if it was a brush mm -hmm. and uh, move your pencil around and it will act like a brush would mm -hmm. as it moves around in uh, like, I guess, 180 degree. But again, that's why they're three thousand dollars. Yeah, honestly. Um, David, can I borrow three thousand dollars so I could get one of those? <laughs> so yeah, you, David. Yeah, David. David, like, um, uh, please. Uh, can somebody find us a sponsor? <laughs> please. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude. And sometimes, like, some people might not know this, but some of the software that you would like to use is not very compatible with the iPad. You know, and, and it just doesn't work out. Like, I remember trying to use my iPad. This is before I even had a Cintiq. Trying to use my iPad to use uh, Photoshop or before the app came out, right, for the iPad. Yeah. Trying to use Photoshop or um, this is, uh, like this Adobe software program where you animate CC, you know, mm -hmm. and some other software. It was just or your storyboard pro. I was not for the life of me able to do um, comfortable work on it i would always have to like stop zoom and and there was always glitches yeah. or it would just shut down and and my ipad was like why are you doing this to us why and i'm like but i i, I don't i don't have to do to buy the big one yeah <laughs> you know much. yeah 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 because i like, agree uh, i do the same thing where like i always use the ipad again more as a either concept or sketching uh whether using procreate or even the new Photoshop app, or they just came out with a, a, an Illustrator app because I use Illustrator a lot for client work, for logos, for uh, anything that has to be printed, uh, uh, garment work and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So vector-based work, it's really hard to do on the iPad. And Procreate, you can export your files as uh, PSD. Yes. Um, but then I would have to go from there to Photoshop on my computer to actually 
uh, make sure that everything's up to spec before I have to go from there onto Vectorwork and send it to Illustrator. It's, it's like a process. It's a whole process. So whole if you process. have a Centic, just you're working on the actual Illustrator program yeah. or a Photoshop program that's running through your computer that's a lot better than the chips on an iPad. Yeah, This is, my, this is true. My paint markers have to be at a certain temperature they because do. like if they're too yeah. warm and you want to, you know, pump the paint marker like the ink would just overflow and just like whoa do you guys have that problem with digital yes because <laughs> my computer will slow down if it overheats <laughs> it's, it's true though like uh, again you 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 can also see that in acrylics when it's too cold and like everything is too goopy i know and the you have to like <sighs> It's like, like warm up. <laughs> <laughs> put it in the microwave Please. for like two minutes. And then it explodes and then you have paint all over your microwave. Not that we do it. Not that we do it. Yeah. Boy, it's an well, idea. We would though. <laughs> we but would. Yeah. We will try. Yeah. In and the name of science. <laughs> and then uh, so soon enough, you'll see a new series of microwaves for sale with artwork inside. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but with microwaves in our heads, we're going to switch over to an amazing game that we always have called the quickening Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, i don't have a jingle for the quickening i should make would you make a jingle uh audience members let us know if you want us to make a jingle for the quickening because uh i'm trying to stall as i look it's a for jingle my a jingle wingle for the quickening yeah so, there you go <laughs> i'll probably clip that and uh, <laughs> use, use that <laughs> yeah <clears throat> um so are you ready for the quickening? Do you know I, what the quickening I'm is? I'm so ready. I'm so ready, even though I don't know. And you gave me a list. <laughs> you don't know what the quickening is? You haven't heard our podcast. I, I don't know if you have. Like, I, I, I doubt any of our artists. Hey, listen hey, to hey, it. hey, 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 hey. I've listened to the beginning of it. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, uh, you have to listen I, to I at know. least 30 minutes. I need to commit. I need to commit. The, the, I will commit. I will okay. commit. <laughs> okay. Here's a little synopsis of it. Yeah. yeah. Rapid Q&A about random art stuff. That's all yeah. you need to know. Okay. That's what it is. Art stuff. <laughs> Are you Hit ready? Me. Are you ready? So we're going to start off with our traditional okay. like, uh, Come on um, questions. Pen or pencil? Pencil. Papers quick. Uh, lead pencil or traditional pencil? 0.5 or 0. 0.7? 0. 0.7. <laughs> <laughs> why not 0. 0.5? Yeah, why not 0. 0.5? Because no. <laughs> okay. Why? Because it breaks too easily? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you need to get a lighter hand. You know, but I like going hard in it, you know? David <laughs> 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 yeah. was the same thing. Like, he would always break them. That's why he would go for it's the like, other God one. damn it. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite medium? Or there's large? Bunch, there, there's or a small. bunch of medium. Mixed medium? Yeah, but out of that mixed medium, which one's your favorite medium? Painting? Yeah, but out of painting, like acrylic paint, oil paint, watercolor paint. Oh, fudge. Gosh, uh, tempura. Fudge, because yeah. I do like a mixture of things. I think acrylic. I would say acrylic. Acrylic? Definitely acrylic. I can do that. Um, if you were to uh, sketch, do you finish a sketchbook all the way through or do you just buy another sketchbook? God, buy another sketchbook. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am yes. so bad at finishing a whole sketchbook. Wait, how many sketchbooks do you have? I have so many, like more than 15. Nice. Unfinished. Yes. So nice. many yes. papers. But the good thing about it is Unfinished like- Unfinished club. Oh, yeah. I, I think I have like one or two that are finished. Wow. I'm proud of myself. It, it took Congrats. him like 10 years. Uh, <laughs> 10 years. It took five, not 10. Uh, but still, six, a class. Six, Hello, seven. yeah. <laughs> um, RGB or CMYK? RGB. No CMYK? No. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you don't really do any printing. Uh, animation is a lot of just digital RGB. I, I can see that. Mm -hmm. What is... Uh, your top song to listen to while you're painting. Damn, that varies so hard. Okay, what about genre? If it's not one song. Yeah. 
I, I would say jazz. Jazz. I like to get jazzy when I work on art. Mm. Get <laughs> jazzy with it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <Get jazzy with laughs> it. Uh, do you paint standing up or sitting down? Sitting down. Why? Because I like to sit. Because <laughs> <laughs> I get tired of standing. Because I get tired. I like to sit. <laughs> Uh, what would you say is your mo most used color? It's going to be. Not yellow. <laughs> not, not, yellow. not yellow. Not yellow. <laughs> I think it's honestly pink. Neon pink to be exact. Nice. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, yeah. pink. it's yeah. pink. I'm trying it's to stay away from it, guys, but I keep getting back into neon pink. I mean, they pull me back in. They're like, no, please. Have you, have you heard of this artist? Uh, Andrea Gazetta. She does a, uh, uh, when she primes her canvases, mm -hmm. she primes it in, uh, in a light pink. Ooh. And then, and then she paints like on top of that and she leaves the pinks like to come through. That's so yeah. cool. No, I, uh, that, I have not heard that, of that. The, the pink frame painting reminded me of that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. need to mm -hmm. definitely check her out. That's so cool. Yeah. If you listen to our previous podcast with, If you listen um, to like a bunch of our podcasts, I don't know. She comes up a lot. Yeah, she she, she came up, I think, twice. <laughs> yeah, uh, two or three times. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll go back to looking at it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll commit. I'll commit. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Um, this, is, this, is, this is also a fun one. What is your favorite store? <sighs> okay, so, okay. It used to be Artists and Craftsmen Supply Store. Do you know that store? That uh, store? In Artists. LA, yeah, in LA. I think I've, I, yeah, I think well, yeah, I've I think passed by there. through it a few times. Yeah. Okay, that used to be my favorite supply store, but since it's in close to downtown LA, yeah, it's like in front of the Greyhound, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I do not go to it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we're moving on to public and online stuff, nice. <laughs> guys. You have no idea. Looking for parking in LA. Yeah. It's such a pain. Have you tried the art supply warehouse? I have not. It's in Westminster. Yeah. It's kind so of far. It's further south from us. Well, yeah. is it worth it? Uh, What do you say? Is it worth um, it? Yeah. I would say, yeah. They, they have a large selection of everything. everything. Yeah. Of everything. Even toys? They do have like they little do have, miniature. They little do have miniatures. I'm toys. in. Yeah. Yes. I but, love uh, it when art stores have like the cute tiny toys. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, no. oh this is gonna be great. They they have so many sales, so like if you're gonna buy like a lot a lot, then it is worth it. Oh, good. Uh but if you're just gonna buy like a few things, then the closest that you can get <laughs> is better. Okay. Because yeah. it's a it's a long drive. Okay. It's like long how drive. long? Well, it takes me 30 to 40 minutes from here. Not going from five to like 60, right? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, I know you go it, fast it, 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 is, it well, is the freeway. Well, I mean, going I, really fast. Yeah, I do 75 on the freeway, so, so yeah, and so it's, he and does it's, 75. It's, I mean, I mean, 75. I, I, I respect the law, <laughs> I break the law. No, I'm just kidding, I can't. I drive manual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're, you're not there yet. I'm not to, there. But no, but but no. Uh, Art Supply Warehouse has a lot of a lot of good sales. If you're gonna buy in bulk, dude, I'll check yeah. them out. I love buying it's, in bulk. It's it's fun. Yeah. I love throwing my money to Art Supply oh, no. stores. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and that's why it's like uh, the other one that we always recommend is Michaels. Uh, but online buying in bulk because you'll get the wholesale price. Yeah, dude, I I never knew that. I never knew that. You changed my life right now. Yeah. Why do you think we have so many Michael's boxes? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was going to question it, but you know, I was like, it's like, yeah, yeah maybe yeah, they're like, like the name Michael's. All, all, yeah, essentially all straight from their warehouse. To here. Yeah. Oh, all those gee. canvases are like super cheap. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Super cheap. We like the cheap, cheap kind yeah. of cheap. Well, no, no, no. Cheap we, and money. We, we cheap like, and money. We like, yes, cheap and money, guys. Yeah, cheap and money. Cheap we, and we money. Like, they're good canvases. They're, we, we like good quality. Yeah. But when you buy them in bulk, It's on average 66% off. Yeah, guys. But you have to buy minimum six at a time. Yeah. Or 12. Save your so, monies. Be smart with your monies. Yeah. And if you're going to continue being an artist, you're going to 
you don't have to buy more paintings. Yeah, you uh, don't want to be a starving artist. <laughs> so just buy it in bulk you and need, then you're you investing need to on yourself. Money manage. And, yes. And, uh, and just buy a take bunch care of, of yourself too. Yes. We want food. <laughs> <laughs> and get yourself a cheesecake. Yeah. Oh, speaking of cheesecakes, uh, what is your favorite vegetable? You know, recently it's been Brussels sprouts with mushrooms. Ooh, Brussels sprouts with mushrooms. Yes. Like sauteed, Gr grilled, sauteed, or steamed? How do you, how, how would you make Brussels sprouts? Oh my God. So I salt them and put pepper and I'm cooking them on the pan. Ooh, so sauteed. Sauteed, yes. And then a little I, bit of butter. A little, and then I, I mince garlic. <laughs> oh, a little bit of butter. Uh, I mince garlic. I put it in there and then I put the mushrooms in there. And then after it's done, I put um, balsamic vinegar mm. and then it's done. It's I done. can do that. It's so good. It's like, we have to make some of those. Uh, yeah. It. Next uh, time we're going to do a potluck. So you're going to bring that. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. If you guys like, do a potluck. My, uh, my, an artist potluck. My, my favorite vegetable is bacon. <laughs> yes. Bacon. <laughs> bacon. 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 Bacon with a little bit of butter. And oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Um, is it pronounced GIF or JIF? <laughs> For a moment, you broke me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> we had a conversation about this. I had one with somebody. I like saying GIF. I know it's JIF. But why do you know it's JIF? I think online. The, the person that invented gifts said it was GIF, but everybody kept calling it GIF. But See, it's my, for, my rationality. Tell me. Tell me your rationality. GIF is computer stuff. GIF is for peanut butter sandwiches. That makes perfect sense. Yes. I'm here for you. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am all in. I think that's the perfect that explanation. Is. It is a perfect <laughs> explanation. You yeah. know what? Screw whatever I have to say. <laughs> I love yours better. <laughs> and then uh, a couple more. This one's always fun. What's your favorite? Uh, th this will be brushes, right? Round, flat, bright, filbert, mop, liner, or fan brush? Whatever gets the job done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I but, don't have a favorite. But what's your favorite though? Well, what's the one that you, you automatically grab? <sighs> Probably a flat brush. Probably a flat, flat brush. It's more. It's the most versatile one. Like a baby, a baby brush. Oh, what size? The baby is tiny, tiny, a, a tiny baby one. So it'd be more the like double, a liner brush. The double zero. Oh, double zero. That's like three hairs. <laughs> <laughs> just like three hairs. Like I just grab it away from my hair and use, use it. You know, I like gorilla glue it. You know, and then I started working on it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that works. It's part of the art, guys. It's part of the art. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then, uh, what show are you obsessed about right now? Right now? Oh, my God. I haven't watched a show in forever. Probably the podcast. Yeah, it's the podcast. <laughs> Definitely the podcast. I love this place. You, you it's can, great. You, you, you can also say in like an art show. An art uh, show. Arthur. The art work. <laughs> the tradition of the book where he actually had the nose. Uh, so first Fridays, I guess. Because that's the first show you've done in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, art shows. I thought you said you meant TV shows. <laughs> no, just show, <laughs> shows in general. <laughs> shows in general. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. I thought you said TV show. I'm like, I don't know, guys. I don't watch TV anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, it could be a, a TV show. Oh, a movie show, any show, an art show, the showy show, a podcast, a Broadway show, show a Broadway oh show, shows, shows, in show, general. shows, shows. What? What else? Uh, other a, a radio bur show, a burlesque show, Ooh. a performance show. Damn it! Uh, Damn it! A a elementary show and tell show. <laughs> <laughs> that must be very entertaining. <laughs> um. I don't know. I guess the show that we just did together because it was yeah. really nice. And Abraham Lincoln signed my penny. Oh, yeah, well, not right. my penny, my friend's penny. 
but it was great. <laughs> I think I think I think he was carrying new pennies that he you would think sign. So? I, think I hope so. so. Yeah. I hope so. That, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, it would be hilarious. <laughs> like uh, it'll be a dollar. <laughs> it would be a dollar for this <laughs> for, penny, sir. For every penny that he signs. But yeah. So the uh, Long Beach First Friday Art Show. Yeah, it's been really fun. Expo You're gonna do the next one, right? Of course. It's gonna be a micro show. Yes. So micro. And uh, the last, uh, but not the least. Not the last one. Oh, uh, fine. Not the last one then. Not the last. Krispy Kreme or Hostess? Krispy Kreme. No Hostess? No. Why not? No. They, ha- they have ding dongs. <laughs> they-, they have uh, uh, Twinkies. <laughs> I don't want none of those Twinkies or Ding Dongs. They, they, they last forever. <laughs> they last forever. Oh God, that's even more of a reason. <laughs> oh my God, they, they're gonna be here for the apocalypse. If there was an apocalypse, not that I want an apocalypse, but, but it would be fun. But it would be fun to have a bunch of Twinkies. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of them. art inspiration. Yeah, Twinkies, but. Crispy Krispy Kreme. Yeah. I, I used to eat Krispy Kreme like it's nobody's business back when I lived in Miami. Like there was like a gas station. For some reason, they had Krispy Kremes inside the gas station. I was like, oh, yeah. And yes. every almost every day I would get a donut. Here, there's a Krispy Kreme next to a gas station. Oh. So you get the here, back. like close by. Yeah. On the off. Artesia and Danza. Yeah, right. Artesia and it's like get, getting into the ninety one, or coming out yeah. off of the so, ninety one. So here, but as it's still like two miles. Yeah, here, but miles. not here. Here, okay. Yeah. But we're gonna, close like, to here. Drive. I'm just yes. Gonna, like, yes. Yes. Take Do my it. car in there and go like, your, give me your donuts. Yeah. Your, your finest donuts. On, on your way back home. <laughs> just go yes. and get some crispies. And then the now crispies. this will be the last one to Ooh. end the segment. Uh, cats or dogs or exotic pets. Can I say all, or does it have to be one? It has to be yeah, one you of have to the pick three. One. <laughs> one of the three. And there is a right answer. <laughs> I really, really like dogs. I like, yeah, dogs, dogs, dogs. That's, that's not the right answer, though. <laughs> oh, you failed. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> Technically, you know how you said, oh, can I pick all? That's exotic pets, because dogs can be exotic breeds. Damn it. So, right I answer. changed my answer. I changed my answer. Exotic. It's all exotic. Oh. Please. I always get everybody with that. <laughs> like, uh, unless they pick cats, then like cats. It's either cats or exotic pets. Yeah. To include those, are the, no. those, are, those are the two right answers. <laughs> those are the two right answers. Uh, okay. All of them. I love all of them. Yeah. So, you have to pick exotic pets. Okay. But yeah. you chose dogs. So, exotic. therefore. We're going with exotic guys. <laughs> guys don't listen to them exotic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hopefully our next guest actually listens to the entire podcast because I do say that question a lot and hopefully they know to pick exotic pets. No. Uh, no, they should pick cats. Uh, they, only cats. 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 Cats, 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 only cats, cats and cats uh, and cats and cats. Yeah, so thank and you cats. for participating in the in the quick and a, the quick and a. How do you think you did? Yeah. We, we do grade them. Yeah, oh we, my do, God, we do grade them. Great. Yes, yes, we do great. How do you think you did? I I think I give myself an A. Ooh, wrong for effort. <laughs> a, a for effort. Effa, effa. <laughs> we love effa. No, I think you. I I think I would say maybe an like a. a B plus. An A. Thank you for no, your A. B, B minus. <laughs> yes, I'll probably just go with a solid B because again, no. A for astonishing. <laughs> B minus. A B minus. for amazing. B uh, minus. Audience members, please uh, make sure to leave it in the comments below what grade she gets. An A. We're gonna go with <laughs> we're gonna go with B minus. A because for Andy has spoken. Aw. Aw. Yeah. Aww. Aww. You got the GIF what? wrong because we changed your mind. Because <laughs> 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 you were going with GIF and then like Andy changed your mind. With, I, did, I did it. He has the right idea. <laughs> GIF, <laughs> peanut butter. Yeah. I mean, she got and it mates. right because she said GIF, GIF was right. Who? who no, who? but, it, but it, it goes the other way. Um, And then uh, <laughs> for the. David R- got it wrong. Yeah, David got it wrong. Got it wrong. <laughs> uh, for the RGB, technically the CMYK because. 
it's better. <laughs> <gasps> I'm gonna push you right off your chair right now. <laughs> no. Give him my ear. <laughs> First person to fight us. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> First thing for everything, right, guys? Let's go, brother. But again, but thank you for participating. Uh, you are getting a B. You, guys, he's so wrong. It's I, an A. I, I, <laughs> I think he's pronouncing it wrong. Uh, I, do have a, a. I do have a small stutter, so it's a B. <laughs> it's an A. And then uh, with that, we'll switch over into a quick commercial break. Mm, 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 then you. You're sorry yeah. than you. Like, if your other parallel universe self came down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yes. yes. And uh, again, thank you, sponsor, for sponsoring the sponsor. Sponsor. Sp- uh, um, what I just said. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> we're back. We're back. Hello, Whoa, welcome. Hey. Uh, we haven't had uh, too much coffee, as you can tell. Um, so for the this section, we always love to ask uh, ask our audiences to please. Let us know what you think of the podcast and to our guest. Yeah. Tell us what you think. <laughs> um, this is a fun question that was the entire basis for just creating the podcast uh, is about the artist journey. Where are you today in that journey? In my artist journey. Oh my God. I think I'm having the most fun ever in my artist journey where I am. I am so inspired every day to just create and to push those those uh, limits I've put myself in the beginning of when I first started out, you know. Um, I'm at a place where I am meeting so many artists and and the way the way they they make their art and just I don't know. I'm in a great place, I would say. I'm so happy. And every time I get the chance to make art, to put it out there, to exhibit um and talk about my art to people it's it i feel lucky i i just i don't know just feel happy yeah and we definitely feel that energy like just from you here today the audience members will hear it just with how we are just jazzing through this entire podcast oh, having yeah. fun jazzy jazzy time and even when you're uh at the art shows like people can feed off of your happiness, your joy. The your, chaotic your, energy of being happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is scary to some people because I'm like, uh, yeah, just be happy, dude. It's like, um, it's like, why is a girl so happy? It's like, Stop it. She's Stop being happy. so crazy. Get the spray, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing what she wants to do and that's create art. I'm so happy. It's talking to random people. I love it. Talking to them about my art and the fact that they ask questions about my art. Or they want to get to know my art. That is what feed so much like this, this little fuel tank that I have of just creating and pumping things out, you know? Nice. Yeah. It's people, man. Love people. Gotta love people. And and uh, you mentioned that in that little sentence, like the fuel, like what helps you add to the fire? Like what, what makes your creative juices flow? Oh my God. What keeps it going? What keeps it going? It is not caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? It's not caffeine. So I got to keep my hands straight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's, I think the interactions with people at art events, that's one of them. Um, I would listen to music and I would just get so pumped and ready to just draw or write. Uh, or like I would listen to jazz or like a, like a classical music and then it would inspire me to write something. Or just going outside and experiencing life, like going on a hike or, or just hanging out with friends at, at specific spots. Those moments uh, or reading, it, it just inspires me so much to, just, to pour out what I experienced into my art. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And have there ever been any moments of doubt? And, uh, and how would you overcome those? Oh, my God. There was a moment of doubt, I would say, for two years where I stopped drawing. I think this was the moment I ever felt. I think it was like during the pandemic, like 2020 and 2021, where everything 
I think everybody felt it. Everything just felt so uneasy and a mystery what was going to happen next. And, you know, uh, seeing all my friends lose their jobs and, you know, artists weren't able to go out and exhibit or, or people weren't able to just talk to each other. You know, I'm the type of person that was, I just, I loved being around people. I loved being like talking to people. And I was for two years, I wasn't able to do that, you know? And it affected me so much that I just had so much doubt in my art. So doubt, so much doubt in my capabilities and that I stopped doing art. But one thing that brought me back to, to going in this journey that I, I, I felt in my heart that is meant for me is just pushing through those feelings, pushing through, through uh, the mystery. It's like, okay, whatever happens, it happens. It, this is life. You're always going to get thrown, thrown so many things, but you keep going. If, if you want this, you keep going, mm -hmm. you push through, you explore these feelings. You don't, you don't dismiss the feelings. If you're feeling doubtful, if you're feeling sad or whatever you're feeling, you, you explore them. You ask yourself these questions. Why is this making me feel this way? What can I do to overcome these feelings? Should I write? Should I paint it out? Should I listen to music? Should I take a walk? And from that, yeah, I mean, that that's what helped me a lot. I like that. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're back on this side. Oh, God, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It feels so I bet. great. I, I oh. bet, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, because well, we did see that, like, because well, we've known each other for several years before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we would do art shows, the art walk, the downtown LA art walk. Oh, yeah. Then, during the pandemic, like, uh, would never see any posts from you for oh, several. No. Like, guys, well, I was in my doing? depressed era. Like, <laughs> like, where is she at? I was in my depressed era, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was peaced out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, all right. Yes, like, <laughs> and then now with some of your new pieces, is like, like it, they're so vibrant. They still tell the story. Uh, typos on the titles every now and again. The <laughs> Uh, you water one specifically. Shh, shh, shh. All right, uh, it's just so you oh, guys. <laughs> you water. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, like, so uh, did you use like that those feelings to create uh, these new series? Yes, I would say yes, definitely. Um, I wrote a lot of stories, and from that, I would make sketches, and they, they would just hang out there as just sketches when i was really sad and depressed for those two years and um i think i feel like my artistic abilities got better even though i was out for two years because i came i feel like i came back stronger with more fire and more passion and more like let's go let's yeah. do this kind mm -hmm. of mentality and and truly feeling like that doubt of myself leaving and having so much confidence in myself as a as an artist and and just I don't know, just doing it. Go for it. You know what? If you don't go for it, how will you know how things turn out? You know how you, you don't know what opportunities lay in front of you. You don't know how many wonderful people you're missing out on meeting, you know, and going back to it, it's just it's been so lovely because I yeah. met so many artists that are just absolutely wonderful, very creative, very passionate. And, you know, it's like it's it, it's great being in an art community that just fuel your fuel each other's passion you know like everybody's like always pouring each other's cup like here 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 mm -hmm. you know that's great and also now you have a uh content to look back at and like okay cool i can use that piece from that moment or whatever mm -hmm. and like, yeah because like i would do that when when i would write and do poetry and stuff like that where like a lot of depressed memories that i would have and i would write it down at that moment. And then when I would feel better, I was like, oh, look, I was depressed. I can use that though. No, this is, <laughs> and this I, like, is so true. something happy out of it. Mm -hmm. it. It's so true because it's like that depressed self that you left behind because you're, you know, you're, you're happy now. Um, it's still you, yeah. you know, some you can, people, you can still use that. You can content. still use you that. Can still use you that. can still take so much uh, lesson or like feeling from that moment and bring it on to the now and 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 create something beautiful you know i think so many people see sadness as such a negativity but you know 
those moments are a moment where you kind of you can reflect you can you can find a way to overcome these feelings and push yourself forward and and you it's it's just like it's still you treat yourself good you know it's like hooray for for overcoming that bump but you're always going to have bumps like that Mm -hmm. it's life and it's totally normal and so many people have this pressure of always being happy and it's like no you're not always going to be happy you're always going to you're either going to be sad you're going to be angry frustrated or just happy and that's okay accept every part of you and use all those parts to your art yeah i like that yeah yeah because like uh, i i and an 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 analogy that came to mind is like uh laundry like clothing is not always going to be clean mm-hmm. you know it's going to get dirty every now and again but mm-hmm. then you have to wash it yeah and then w- once you wash it you rinse it out you let it out to dry and it's clean again yeah <laughs> you, know, so like, you do all the, the work <laughs> yeah you, you do the work and then you, and then uh wait you don't just buy new clothes you can. Yeah, David, you don't have the money to yeah, buy new David. clothes, David. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have you don't money burn to... your clothes, David, after using it. Oh my god! Such a pobble. Such a pun, indeed. What is this lunatic we're talking about? Oh, I cannot. Uh, I should. I should buy new clothes though. <laughs> like um, oh like uh, I've had uh, like shirts for like twenty years. And this is great. They still work. They still work. Oh yeah, yeah those I, are some good shirts. Have yeah. you had them for twenty years? Yeah. I give them clean. <laughs> I believe you. Shirts got a lot of love on them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and with that, like, what what tips would you give? someone who's starting out like uh, an artist that's either starting out in their journey or uh may have a low that is a little doubtful like we did cover some great points that that you mentioned but mm-hmm. like if you can give them a like a one sentence type of thing it's like okay like get out of bed and do your homework i am not going to tell you to just do it cuz cuz that's a nike's that's a reference. Nike's reference. And also it's so easy to tell a young artist that's doubtful to just do it. I was that young artist that was doubtful, especially if you're very shy of your art in the beginning. I would say ask questions. Ask questions. Um, if you see, even though it can be either uncomfortable if you're anxious or if you're shy, ask questions. You either re- do your research on the internet or you ask questions to a person that works in a gallery at an art event, you ask questions. How, how did you get started? How long have you been doing this? What are the steps you took? You know, those are so important for you to gain that, build that confidence so that you yourself can get out there and do it. You know, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And cause it is one of those things again, hence why we created this platform is to ask that to artists that we know. And, uh, and it's hopefully it's a big benefit to upcoming artists as well. But yeah, definitely ask questions. But yeah, ask questions. Okay, ask questions. But wait for the artist to finish trying to sell art to <laughs> other people. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. <laughs> like, otherwise, otherwise, they won't answer your question. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah. be nice. Just yeah. be nice. Be, be patient. It's like, it's like I'm sorry. I know. I know you're busy like um, selling your art, but I have this question. <laughs> Yeah. Can you tell me your life story, please? <laughs> right now, right here. I want it all. Spill yeah. the beans. No, oh but but, de- but definitely do ask questions. Yeah. Most artists will share. Yeah. Absolutely. Most like, artists will share. We and, want you in the art community. Join yeah. us. Yeah. We we love you. We want to see your work. Um, and I'm sure you're creating absolutely masterpieces. So yeah. show them. Yeah. Show them, please. And then and then to those artists that keep getting questions asked at them. Like uh, write it in your bio. Have a bio, a, a, a complete bio. That way you can be like, oh, you want to know my process? Like, uh, here's Read my this. website. <laughs> Read here's this. my website right yeah. here. Have a like, link. Yeah, have, have a link. Set. And yes. then, and then, if you have more questions, then yes, more of a one-on-one. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah. 100% so, uh, Mel, uh, uh, put put your bio you, up. You, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have one? I don't remember. <laughs> Dude, I don't have the process of, of like fixing my website. It's just yeah. got down. But that's a good idea. I will 
Make yeah, that bio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make like, that bio. I'm one of those it, artists it, that doesn't have it. One of those, uh, <laughs> fre- a frequently asked questions section. Yeah, yeah. You, you can do that on your website. Like frequently asked questions. Like, oh, who are you? <laughs> I am an artist. <laughs> I am an artist. I what do, do you, things. What do you do? I do, I do art. <laughs> I do art. I, I paint stuff. <laughs> like, Play why do you do it? <laughs> to create more art. <laughs> <laughs> just the basics <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what got you started I, I, I uh, like I like I like art I like to do it <laughs> I like art I like turtles <laughs> I, I, like, I like turtles <laughs> <laughs> but no but it, it is one of those things like asking questions is mm, very def- very beneficial definitely definitely very beneficial yes do it all the time do it all the time do it all the time um And uh, with that, uh, speaking of artists and asking questions, uh, do you have any artists that you would want to shout out to that have inspired you? Oh, yeah. Um, I would say a shout out that I would have to say, I have to, is my very, very good friend, Jenny Goldberg. Um, Her artist name is Kunch. C-U-N-C-H. I hope I got that right. But she is wonderful. She's lovely, super helpful, and and kind, very kind, you know. Um, and she makes really cool art. So check her out if you can. Yeah, we'll definitely she, link it in. The like, oh yeah, she makes art. <laughs> like, oh yeah, she makes- yeah, she she makes art. It's good stuff, <laughs> uh, wonderful stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. And where can we see your art? You can see my art at uh, Mayo Mel's, M-A-Y-O-M-E-L-Z, with a Z <laughs> at the end, um, on Instagram or Twitter. I'm barely on Twitter, but mostly on Instagram. And then you're fixing your website. I'm fixing my website, which is MayoMels.com. It will be up in a month. <laughs> Ho- hopefully sooner, because I checked today and I was like, because I was, you know, I, I like to do my research on artists. It's like, oh, cool. You have a website. Uh, it's server down. is down. Like, it's down, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. You know it's so just down. Just put a splash page that says like uh in the work. Go, go to my Instagram. <laughs> just go. Or, or or you can just redirect it back to your Instagram. I know. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> in the well, like, while, while, while you're working on it, yeah. Yeah. Or have it I redirect. Should. I should. Oh, I'm sure so many people have clicked on that. They're like disappointed. They're like, God. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, I'm gonna go cry in that corner over unsub- there right now. Unsubscribe. <laughs> unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Uh, unsubscribe right now. <laughs> you fake. You phone me. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. What if you just make a painting that says "server is down"? <laughs> Server is down. Oh my god! And wait, wait. Put, it, so put that, a that's painting, a splash painting. Yeah. painting, but with animals in it, so they won't be angry at me. Because how can you get angry at animals? <laughs> yeah, put a little cat. Put a little cat, like yeah. really sad, like. No, no, no! A cat with puppy eyes, a scra- puppy eyes. Is scratching a sofa. Yeah. <laughs> looking back at you, like. <laughs> yes. It wasn't me. It it wasn't. Sorry, it's yeah. not yeah. 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 Just forgive me. A little puppy destroying a pillow. A, a chew toy. Chew toy? No, no, a pillow. A pillow, yeah. It's got to be cute and annoying at the same time. Oh. Yes. That's very annoying. Mainly because it's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> If it was a cat, it would be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like all of them. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, but thank you for being part of the podcast. And it's, it's, It's always fun to hang around with you. Dude, it's always <laughs> fun to hang around <laughs> both of you chaotic <laughs> artists. Are we chaotic? You're chaotic, both of you. Uh, let, let us know Chaotically in the comments below. good! <laughs> <laughs> But again, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Uh, again, you can check out uh, Mayo Mel's on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Etsy as well, I think, right? For yes, some of your stickers Etsy. and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully her website will be up by the time this episode is up. If not, then it's not my fault. I will <laughs> I will, I will, will cry in your place if it's, it's all, not up. Uh, it's all good. Soon enough. If you need any help doing the website, let me know. Uh, but uh, thank you for listening to the Lardest Podcast. And this has been the Lardest Podcast. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, 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 that was fun. Yeah,
You have been listening to the LA Artist Podcast. Feel free to like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss the latest episode. You can see bonus content on our Instagram at Lorano Gallery, as well as our website, loranogallery.com slash podcast. Stay creative, keep creating, and no matter what, be passionate about your art. Bye.